Welcome back to Monica Rogers Barbecue. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Today we're making up some South Texas hot and spicy beef jerky on the Auto S. 640S. I'm gonna show you how to make a super simple marinade that's packed with flavor that's gonna make your taste buds pop. Real simple, real tasty, and it's going down right now. Are you ready to do this? Let's go. All right, let's toss together our South Texas hot and spicy jerky marinade. I got a third of a cup of liquid aminos. If you don't have liquid aminos, you can use a third of a cup of a light soy sauce. We're just trying to knock the sodium down a little bit because we have other things that's gonna carry the salt in it. We're gonna hit it with two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. One tablespoon of brown sugar. We're also adding in a tablespoon of chili garlic sauce. It's gonna bring us a little bit of heat here. Put that in there. Now what I got here is one half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of black pepper. I'm using a 16 mesh. Get that all in there. We're also gonna add one teaspoon of Uncle Steve's South Texas Red. I'll leave a link, as always, in every video down below in the description. Grab yourself some Uncle Steve's. If you don't have any Uncle Steve's, you can go with some crushed red pepper in here. We're gonna be going with about a teaspoon or so. We'll give this a little quick mix. Let's go get our beef. All right, we got a little less than three pounds of top round that I sliced up pretty thin. Whacked it a couple times with a tenderizing mallet. I did cut it across the grain. Let's get all this tossed right into our marinade here. Just wanna get right in there and mix it all in. Break it up a little bit, get that coating between everything. You'll get it all mixed up, you'll toss it into a fridge. Minimal four hours, overnight is best. I'm gonna probably toss this into my vacuum tumbler. All right, we got our top round here. All in that marinade. We got our vacuum tumbler here. We're just gonna toss it into the drum itself. Get all that in there. Now we got the lid here for it. I gotta set here on the vacuum setting. Just gonna drop that right on top. Now the tumbler has got a little hose here. Then you're just gonna plug right in on the top there. Right there. Come over to our tumbler. We'll turn it on. And we'll hit the vacuum. We'll just let that pull vacuum and we'll get it spinning. All right, we pulled our vacuum. Now what we're gonna do here is on the lid, twist it to the lock position. Now that's locked in there. Take the hose off. Toss the hose back in. We'll get our tumbler on. And we'll set it for 15 minutes. We'll just let it tumble away. All right, we got a vacuum tumbler out of the fridge. I had it in there for about 15 minutes. Now we're just gonna release the vacuum. 
All I'm marinating now is penetrated into our meat here. What we'll do now is we'll get it onto some paper towels. You want to get the excess moisture off it. Less moisture, the less time that you're going to be having this on your dehydrator or on the smoker. Because you don't have to get that moisture out first, you're just getting it all off. Now you're going to make it dry. Let's throw it on paper towels. Hit it up. And we'll get, I'll do the rest of these up here and we'll get them up onto a rack. All right, we got our jerky all patted down. I had a couple up here. I'm using them on a rack here. It's gonna be easy to put them in the smoker and take them back out. You can rotate them around also a lot easier. You just wanna lay a couple down here. Leave just a little bit of space. When these are dehydrating, you're probably gonna lose about two thirds of the weight of what you're cooking. So if you're doing three pounds, you're probably gonna end up with about a pound of jerky, all said and done. Just wanna get these up on a rack like this. And what I'm gonna do, when I get that rack full, is I'm gonna come back with a little more of that South Texas Red, Uncle Steve's. You can use a little bit of crushed red pepper on there, a little bit of your favorite barbecue seasoning. I'm just gonna give it a little dusting of it, nothing much. I'm only gonna do one side. We'll get a little bit extra flavor, layer it up a little bit. I'm gonna get the rest of these done. We'll meet you out at the smoker. All right, I got the Yoda running at 150 degrees. I'm using Lumberjack Supreme Blend Pellets, combination of oak, hickory, and cherry. get going here we're going up a deck we got our racks here pop one on there and number two right on this side here a lot easier with the racks see how easy it was get it on easy get it off easy we need to turn them we'll turn the whole rack we'll move these around we're gonna let these go probably for about Two hours or so, and we'll bring you back. All right, we're two hours in. Let's take a peek. Oh, we got some nice color here. As you can see there, I'm gonna flip these over here. We'll let them run probably another hour or so. Or bring it back. Check them out. All right, an hour's gone by. Let's take a little peek here. We got some real nice color. Some of these are already feeling like they're done. What you want to do is just want to take them, see if they start splitting like that. That's done to me right there. Some of them are still a little mush as I would say a little thicker cuts like this one here still got a little play to it with some of these other ones like this here that's done I'm going to take the ones that are done off move the other ones around here I'll bring you back we'll taste test them when they're all done All right, we're back, our jerky is done. Let's get you in for a little bit of a close-up. Okay, gave another, just a little dusting of Uncle Steve's South Texas Red to finish it off. Man, if you don't have yourself some Uncle Steve's, get yourself some Uncle Steve's. I'll leave a link to Uncle Steve down below. Every one of my videos down there, hit it up, tell them that I sent you over from Behind the Garage Barbecue. Uncle Steve will take care of you. Let's get a little taste test going here. Let's see what we got here. Let's give it a little pull. 
That's what you're looking for right there. That is some awesome jerky right there. Those flavors are popping through. You get that chili garlic. You definitely pick up that Uncle Steve's South Texas Red. You're picking up some of that liquid aminos. Man, that stuff right there is popping. Real simple one, a real tasty one. This marinade also would be good for if you want to make some kebabs. Cut up some meat, toss it in there for a few hours, skew it up with some peppers, some onions, hit it on the grill. That marinade right there is that good. Simple one, tasty one. You definitely got to give it a shot. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.